Minister for Northern Australia, ports, leave roads, to rail, airports were built by the people as joint user service facilities to create development. Is the government facilitating the Darwin port sale, thereby one, profoundly inhibiting growth on half Australia's coastline, and two, since the China FTA TPP allows discretionary port charges and foreign jobs outsourcing, creating a foreign corporate, unrestrained, monopolistic money machine? I just ask the member for Kennedy. I didn't hear at the start who the question was to. I was ejecting the member for Wakefield. <laughs> who was the question to? Uh, sorry, Minister for Northern Australia. Thank you, the Minister for Northern Australia. <laughs> if you're a Tasmanian, it's Northern. Well, I thank member the for member for Australia Kennedy the for his question because I was waiting for a question for more than 300 days from the member for Fraser and the member for Brand, but they didn't have a question in them. So thank the member for Kennedy for his question. Now, he asked an important question about the Port of Darwin. And as you know, the Northern Territory government conducted an open, transparent process, <coughs> which ended up in the 99-year lease of that port for a record amount of over $500 million. There was more than 30 parties that registered their Never interest and what won this tender and we went through all the normal processes what Member won this Melbourne tender Ports, what won this we'll process was the fact that this Member group was Hunter. prepared to invest more than 200 million dollars in the development of the port and that means more jobs in the member for Solomon seat uh, in in, uh, in uh, the Northern Territory it means a greater ability Member to, for, for the Northern Australia for Darwin to export into China and other economies in Asia. Now, as for the TPP and as for the China FTA, as you know, there have been no changes to the existing protections for Australian the member workers. For Kennedy there. Has asked and because you asked me about Northern Australia, member for let me say how excited the Turnbull government is about the opportunities in Northern Australia. That part of Australia above the Tropic of Capricorn in Queensland and Western Australia and, of course, all the Northern Territory. Only with some 5 per cent of the Australian population, but more than 40 per cent of the Australian landmass. And whether it's in the member for Herbert's seat, whether it's in the member for Durack's seat, whether it's in the member for Solomon's seat, this government is absolutely committed to the development of Northern Australia. In fact, we were the first government, the first government, to create a white paper, which is a blue. The member for Kennedy, the member for Kennedy does a lot of the answer. All I can, all I can say. <laughs> members on my right, members on my so, left. This is the minister can choose whether he wants we to are continue to answer the question to the development of the northern Australia and the creation of many new jobs, whether it's in the Member Port of Darwin or, or elsewhere. Member for Graham, the resume is seat.